In this episode of Guide to Cheap Living, we're going to discuss some more uh, tips for uh, low-cost shooting. Like if you muzzle out or hunt. That's why you can get lead there, so uh, cheap uh, for... Uh, like, figure if you're at a firing range like here. You can always, uh, say if you get lucky, you might be able to find lead in that uh, backstop. So you have the backstop, find some lead. But it's at nighttime when, uh, when firing ranges are not in use. I think it's dark out. Because it's for safety reasons. So you can always dig up maybe if you find any lead in there. Find lead bullets. You can melt them down. And make uh, fresh uh, bullets out of it. It doesn't matter if you can get lead or so out of it. Like if somebody's providing you lead or so. They used to make a lot of stuff out of lead. And this stuff they still make out of lead like in uh, nuclear power plants. <laughs> they, 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 they even, they even, they even uh, distribute drinking water to lead pipes at one time. That's what I heard. If you look at that backstop, you might be able to find some lead in there. Get some. Our cheap shooting chip. You might find targets that are unused, unshot. That this one's been shot anyway. You find a paper target that's not been used. That might have been hanging or so. Dogs don't shoot it. Just check behind it, make sure nobody is up behind or doing st something. Like looking for lead or anything. Lead's a good, lead's, oh, looking for lead behind uh, backstops is a good, it's a uh, cheap, but you need to get a bunch of it for it to be viable. Sure, it saves money or so if you do that. It's a lot more environmentally friendly if you, if it's like, it's like recycling. Find paper targets are unused. Here, take them down. Right back in the garbage. Therefore, you're not littering. Other ways to uh, save money on paper targets is uh, print your own. Like if you got a computer or an internet connection or a printer, you might be able to print out your own uh, paper targets. Like if you could find uh, pl sources of them, download them in say PDF format, like it's readable in Adobe Reader and you could print it out. Say Olympic 10 meter. Air rifle targets. <laughs> you ever try shooting firearms from an air rifle target? From an air rifle target? I have. This is trying to use open sights or open sights. Or you can always improvise it, uh, paper target. If you got a cup or something, you can put on a piece of paper like this and just uh, shoot holes in it. Or try this for an improvised uh, air, uh, rifle target. This is for my twenty-two rifle. <laughs> I always keep paper target. I always, uh, I'm sure there's people like to hang paper, like to like to hang stuff on their wall. Like, what's wrong with uh, hanging paper targets? 
There's a circle on the bottom. This is an easy way to improvise a rifle target. There's like another cost saving. There's probably handlers that might, might, there's lots of handlers that might, might do that. Take, uh, used shotgun wads. They're sizely used. And use them in, uh, hand loading. So it must be, uh, this one must be one of his fed must be from his federal am ammunition. Now hand it looks like hand load right there. Thought there was between I an unused wad. I used one. There's a dent from the uh shot from the uh pallets. From the lead pallets. Have it in low, it in here. Some people might just take these, load them or so. Usually in our house, we don't uh, we don't uh, reuse uh, shotgun wads. If you're gonna collect shotgun wads to reuse, make sure they could be uh, make sure they're not uh, damaged. Any parts broken off or so. Throw it out. That one with a uh, it's like a pellet that's still in there. Maybe when some might be damaged or so. <laughs> Even right there, it's like the uh. Like somewhat famous, somewhat let's say, let's say his trap gun has a little bit of fame. Like if you've seen uh, patterning a shotgun, this is the same gun that was uh, featured in it. <laughs> so you could say it's uh, a little bit famous. So he's got a little bit of fame. I figure this probably makes a good, at least it's worth, uh, it's worth the video anyway.